What up, my fragrance aficionados? It's your boy, J-Rock. Today, I'm going to be hitting you with a mail call. I went to the post office, picked up a few things I got in a trade, and I stopped by the store, picked up something uh, else I needed. I'll go ahead and show it off right now. Uh, this was basically a trade for 430 mil decants for 430 mil decants, a 10 mil for a 10 mil, and a bottle for bottle. So I'll show that off right now. All right, I made this trade with a fellow YouTube reviewer, Rick, from the channel Redneck Nation. Go ahead and check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, the first one I'm going to show here is uh, Dolce Gabbana Grey. He did this cool thing right here where he, he printed out these stickers that shows a picture of the actual bottles, how they look. My decans weren't as fancy. I just wrote it with a pen up on that bitch. But he, he went, you know, through the extra trouble and so forth. So that's pretty cool. You get to see how the, the actual bottles look. 30 mil decant. Not the biggest fan of these tops, however. But that's not too important. Let's see what this uh, smells like. Oh, as you can see, um, it hadn't been sprayed yet. This is nice. This is a nice freshy. I, I guess some grapefruit. As all freshies usually get grapefruit, lemon, or orange are the main ones, which I like all three notes. Hmm, I already can't smell it that much. That opening blast was really nice, though. I, I got that strong grapefruit. You know what? Let me see what this has. Let me see what this has. Okay, so here it said it has. Basil, cardamom, and um, grapefruit in the opening. I got that grapefruit. It was a nice grapefruit, too. I didn't get cardamom. I didn't get basil. They say it has tobacco in the dry down, clary sage in the dry down. I got none of that. But also on the strips with freshies, they're still fresh, pretty fresh. I can smell it a little. With these freshies, they don't do it justice on, on strips. You got to try them on your skin. With heavier, dense notes, it can sometimes be the case, but sometimes those notes, since they're stronger, you can get them better off the strip than you can the fresher notes. So these fragrances, you definitely got to try them more on your skin. But it's a nice, clean scent. Nothing from what I'm smelling here. Um, I just kind of get that grapefruit, to be honest with you. But it's nice. I enjoy it. I'm going to give it a few wearings before I give a full opinion. As we all know, clean scents or blue fragrances are also are both usually... Type of stuff you buy as your signature scent that you wear every day to work and so forth. You know, when you're out there in the real world, hitting that battlefield. Now, the next one was this one. Yeah, this one, it's interesting. It came in a black decant. This is Mancero Red Tobacco. I've been wanting to try this for a minute. It, it broke during um the top broke right here. During packaging, during shipping or whatever. But I could put it like that and, and it tends to stick. So it's all right. As long as it, as long as it, um, as long as I could put it on here to cover it up, it's no big issue. Let's give this one a blast real quick. Wow. Wow, guys, this is not good. Hey, this, this is really not, not that good. Let me check the notes on this real quick. Okay, it says, launched in 2017, top notes are saffron, cinnamon, incense, nutmeg, white pear, green apple, and agarwood. That's the top notes. I definitely feel like I got some saffron, some pear, some incense. Then you get mid notes of green apple. No, mid notes are patchouli, jasmine, and base notes, tobacco, and amber. Okay, you get that, um, I get some dirty patchouli up in here. I get the pear with the cinnamon and saffron. That pear does not, um, mesh well with this saffron at all. Then it has that patchouli that gives it kind of a dirty smell to it. It's kind of earthy. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised on, on how bad this is. And I was excited for this and I really wanted to check it out. And this is this is this is not good. Next one is Golan Vetiver. This is the EDT. I was gonna buy a bottle of this, but since this was there up for a 
trade. I was like, you know what? Let me try a 30 mil of this. It should be fine. I, I shouldn't need more than that. This one's another one I've been having on the list for a minute. Let's try this one out. Definitely get that vetiver right away. It's pretty clean. It's not soapy or fresh. It's a nice vetiver though. It's it's almost comes off minty. It almost comes off like mint in my opinion. But it's clean. It's it's clean. This is nice. This one um I'm digging this one. This is something that could uh definitely be just a everyday uh driver. This one I'm digging, this one's cool. You know, I'll be giving this somewhere. You, you notice a lot of these are fresher fragrances i'll be wearing them in the you know we got spring we got summer coming up so i am gonna be needing some freshies it has wow this has a hell of a top notes list it has some heavy hitters here these top notes are gonna probably last you throughout the whole fragrance these top notes are bergamot that seems to not last as long it's more volatile but it has auris Patchouli, rose, and violet. Rose, violet, patchouli, orris. Those are our heavy hitting notes that. Let me smell this some more. Those are usually like mid notes. Yeah, like I said, I'm about to try this on skin. A lot of these um, notes. They're complex notes. These are notes that can be used in a million different ways. And these are notes that go through progressions. I get that rose here. It's more of a powdery rose. It's not a heavy, thick, dense rose. Now that I know what I'm looking for, once you know what you're looking for, it, it makes it easier to distinguish one scent from another. It's a nice rose. I like this rose. It's kind of like that. Um, You ever go to public restrooms and you wash your hands and it's that liquid hand soap that's pink well that's a rose scent but it's very synthetic but it doesn't smell natural but it smells like a light rose scent it's not heavy it's not dense this is what this smells like that type of rose that that hand soap i get a very light um uh, oris or iris whatever you want to call it I don't get violet. I don't really get the bergamot either. What I'm really getting now is um just that light rose, that hand soap type of rose. But I, I'm, I'm liking what I'm smelling. It's clean. It's not. I thought it was going to be something a little heavier because it's called Black Prestige. I'm definitely going to check this out. This is probably the one I'm the most interested in, in trying on first. This one's this one's interesting. This one's a light scent. It's kind of crisp, clean. It's your typical blue fragrance. I forgot to show the bottle. This one's this one. YSL um, Cologne Blue. This one's nice. It's a nice summer fragrance. I like it. It smells a lot stronger off the atomizer than on that test strip. But it's a, it's a it's not nothing that's complex or anything. That's with most of these blue fragrances. They just smell clean and fresh. So anything that's blue uh, fragrance or citrusy are gonna be perfect when summer hits. They're um they're not meant to be super complex and go through stages. They're meant to smell good, get you out that door, smelling um you know fresh, ready to get the day going. And that's what this does. That's what it delivers on what it's supposed to do. Which is, you know, 80% of the people out there, that's what they're looking for. A daily driver, they throw on every day before they walk out the door. Just smell fresh. So this is this is perfect for that. Now, my one issue with this is that it's uh, this YSL line. It's kind of expensive. They're nice fragrances, but they're kind of expensive. So if you're looking for a freshie, since they're kind of simplistic, I would buy something cheaper. If I'm buying something in the price range of, that this goes for, I would get something different 
If I'm getting something, if I want to look for something that smells like this, there's a lot of stuff in the $30 range instead of dropping 70 on this. They can do the same thing. All right, my last one is a uh, Maj Memoir Man. Let's give this a blast. Whoa. Huh. Let's let this air out a little. This one's interesting as all homages are interesting. With these fragrances from this line, you really can't tell much from the first impression from my opening uh, blast or whatever because these are the type of fragrances from this line. It's, uh, they're fragrances you have to take your time with and really pay attention to them. Let's see what's up in this. It has top notes, basil, mint, wormwood, Middle notes, lavender, incense, rose. And bottom notes, sandalwood, gayak wood, oak moss, and tobacco. And leather. And leather. Hmm. What I get from this is... A very faint... Uh, basil. It's there, but it's not there. I get a soapy vibe as well. Uh, I, oh yeah, it says it has lavender here. Could be the lavender. That's all I'm really getting right now off the strip. Is uh, some light basil, it's like a spice, and uh, a soapy vibe could be the lavender. So yeah, we'll give this some, uh, we'll give this some wear as well in the near future. Um, but yeah, I think from these, the one that piqued my interest the most was probably that Black Prestige. With the other freshies, I kind of already knew what I was gonna get. I knew it's something just to get you through the day. Um, so yeah, if you like what you saw or you tried any of these, let me know what's your favorite. What, uh, if you tried these, what does it for you or which one of these do you have? And um, if you have any more recommendations, I might go ahead and get a decan. Let me know what you, what you uh, can recommend. One thing I've noticed is as the more I try more fragrances and the more I try leather fragrances, I'm not the biggest fan of leather. It's something I'm slowly... Um, staying away from where I'm like you know what I don't like it enough to spend money on it it's not a bad scent it's everything it smells okay most fragrances smell okay but which ones smell good enough to want to spend money on you know that's the golden question and I think leather it's, it has to be a very specific leather for me to rock it after I try it enough I'm like you know what it's not really something I care to spend any more money trying I have a few decants of different leather fragrances and for the most part none of them have really been my jam I do like ombre leather I like uh, Fahrenheit enough it has leather and violet and I like Fahrenheit aqua but I would say probably if we're talking about just the leather fragrances I think with Fahrenheit and ombre leather I think I'm good with that I don't think I really care to try anymore if anything I'm gonna get rid of some of the ones I have so, you know, as you try this stuff out, you start seeing what you like, what you don't like. I, 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 and that was a goal of mine, to try a few other fragrances to kind of see what different things they could do with that note. And I think I found the ones I like, and I don't feel the need to really try any more. I will try some if they just play a supporting cast. You know, they play a supporting role, and they're not the main note. I will probably try some that way, but nothing where they're leather dominant. I think those are a skip for me. But I will do some... Reviews on the ones I have. Alright guys. So yeah. Like I said. That's that's all I got. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already. And you know. Leave uh, any comments. Any questions. In the comment section. And I'll go ahead and check you guys out next time.